हरे कृष्णा सिम्टम्स ऑफ भाव भक्ति सेशन टू नेक्टर ऑफ डिवोशन बाय श्रील रूप गोस्वामी श्लोक नंबर वन थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो द श्लोक गोज लाइक दिस शांतिर अव्यर्थ कालत्व विरक्तिर मान शून्यता आशा बंध समुत्कंठा नाम गाने सदा रुचि आसक्ति तद गुणाख्यान प्रीति तद वसती स्थले इति आदय और अनुभाव से और जात भाव अंकुर जने सो द फर्स्ट फाइव सिम्टम्स वी हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन अ लास्ट क्लास द रिमेनिंग फोर सिम्टम्स वील डिस्कस टूडे ऑफ विच द फर्स्ट सिम्टम इज समुत्कंठा दिस वर्ड समुत्कंठा इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री वर्ड्स सम उत एंड कंठा कंठा मीन्स नेक उत मीन्स अप टू फील्ड अप टू द ब्रेम एंड सम मीन्स कंप्लीट सो अ पर्सन हु इज एट द स्टेज ऑफ भाव भक्ति ही इज सो ईगर टू डू डिवोशन टू लॉर्ड कृष्णा दैट इट्स कंपेयर लाइक इट्स फील्ड अप टू द नेक सो दैट शुड बी आर एंथुजम नाउ Why this enthusiasm is required? Because Pralad Maharaj analyzes in Shrimad Bhagavatam that suppose a person lives for hundred years, so the first twenty years he is busy playing, the next twenty years he may be working or studying something, the rest was, the rest sixty years of that fifty percent time he is, he will be sleeping, and the remaining, actually the last twenty years he he is in old age and disease. that means he is improductive the remaining years he will be busy in managing his family life so where is the time for devotion that's why prahlad maharaj says in shrimad bhagavatam 7th uh, canto 6th chapter komaram acharit pragya that devotion komaram acharit pragya dharman bhagavatan iha that devotion has to begin right from the age 5 why because durlabham manusham janma because this human birth this life is very rare and although it is rare it is rare also and it can end any moment like a drop on a lotus leaf which can fall off any moment so he says pradhana says tad abhi adruvam arthadam that although this life is temporary but still we can make meaning out of it by doing devotion and that devotion has to begin right at the present right at that moment right at the age of 5 years or whenever we get an opportunity so that is samutkantha so the next is naam gaane sada ruchi shila prabhupad explains that ruchi means taste up till now the period of practice devotion or sadhana bhakti we were putting our efforts we were endeavoring but this taste doesn't depend upon our efforts only actually our efforts are very tiny the major part is the mercy of krishna and his pure devotees mercy of guru because this taste comes when it is when krishna himself gives this taste to the devotee that means it is a gift from the lord via the medium of devotees so that's why chaitanya mahaprabhu says in chaitanya charitamrita ki krishna kathaya ruchi tumar that one person who has got a, and got a taste in listening to the glories of lord shri krishna that person is bada bhagyavan that person is the most fortunate person and how can we come to know whether we are developing this taste or not that we can analyze that what we are doing in our free time so That was नाम गाने सदा रुचि नेक्स्ट इज आसक्ति तद गुणाख्याने नाउ अप टिल नाउ दे वॉज अ टेस्ट दट स्टेज ऑफ टेस्ट वॉज देयर बट दिस इज एन इवन अ स्टेज फर्दर दिस इज अटैचमेंट दिस इज लाइक अ मैग्नेट एंड आयरन इफ यू ट्राई टू सेपरेट इट दैट अट्रैक्शन इज स्टिल पुलिंग दैट मैग्नेट एंड आयरन वर्ड्स ईच अदर सो दिस अटैचमेंट आसक्ति तद गुणाख्याने दिस अगेन एनोलॉजी ऑफ this a uh, a loving affair between a young male and a female uh, is given by shri prabhupad that is uh, suppose a uh, uh, a youth and a girl are attracted towards each each other 
So even if they are far off, if they are living far off, they are thinking, they are always thinking about each other and they are not just thinking about each other but they are anxiously thinking about each other. So this is the kind of attachment which we have to put in Krishna and not this material world. So that is an example given for attachment and Lord Krishna also says in Bhagavad Gita, Mai Asakta Mana Partha that this attachment has to be, uh, this has to be brought to me to attain me. So that is Asakti. Next is and the last point is Preeti Tad Vasati Sade. Now Preeti, Preeti is loving attachment that what Preeti we have. So here it is mentioned Preeti Tad Vasati Sade that wherever your name is being taken, wherever your pastimes are being happening, that place I want to live in. It's not mentioned Vrindavan or Mathura per se because uh, Shila Prabhupada also used to emphasize that Vrindavan and Mathura Mandal is not a geog geographical boundary where we can purchase a ticket or we can take a board a taxi and we can reach there. No, it is a consciousness and why we want to be a, a place where the pastimes, where his pastimes are, are being glorified because a devotee wants to do service at that place where, where a devotee is eagerly hankering for service to do uh, in the service of Krishna. So that's why he wants to live there. He doesn't want to take an apartment in Vrindavan and see internet over there. No, he wants to be there because he wants service in temples, service to pure devotees and service to Vaishnavas. That's why Preeti Tad Vasati Sade. And now of all these nine symptoms, first of all we will recapitulate. The first one was Shantir, that means uh, forbearing or tolerance. Next was, was Avyarth Kalathun, not wasting time. Third one was Viraktir, that means detachment from enjoyment of this world. Fourth one is Manshunita, not uh, expecting respect for self while giving respect to others. Asha Bandha, Asha Bandha is confident of getting mercy of Lord Krishna. Samutkantha, as we discussed today, that eagerness to do devotion. Nam Gane Sadaruchi, the taste in devotion, Asakti, attachment and Preeti Tadvasiti Sade, that attachment to be at a place where your glorification is being done. So, of as a practice devotional, now we should know that of these nine symptoms, the most important are the first two symptoms because that is the working ground where we have to work because Shantir, because until and unless we forgive others, until and unless we tolerate, we will not be able to live with devotees. And if we are not able to live with devotees, how we will start our devotion even? So that is the groundwork. And the next one is Avyarth Kalatvam, because that is the checking point where we are marching. Because in empty time, whenever we get free time, that that time we will know ourselves that what we are being attracted to. So we should always try to see that we are busy. We are always engaged in service of Krishna and his devotees. So these were the nine symptoms of Bhav Bhakti. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada Ki. Jai.